guys welcome back it's been uh, quite a few days that I don't post any video and the reason is as I've been very busy I know 2020 for people are very difficult year in general right there's a lot of things going on in the world um, but here I am talking about a very nice handbag just to distract myself and hopefully I can help someone who is considering this bag or you know someone who wants to spend uh, five ten minutes of their time without thinking about any other important uh, matters in the world right now so yeah so this beautiful bag that you're seeing is the Bottega Veneta padded cassette I never thought I would buy this bag I probably would have to say this was the typical trendy bag that everyone loves at the beginning and then you know very easily it will be forgotten um the reason why I bought it recently actually I, I believe I have it I received it last week I bought it from Bestia Collective in pre-loft uh, I got it for nearly 50% off um, so it was a very good deal um, the bag is um, in mint condition the previous owner didn't uh, you know mistreat her at all so it's a very nice condition bag uh, it came with all the uh, documents uh, so you will see it comes with a very nice uh, envelope and inside you have some instructions about how to take care of the leather and it also comes with a little card with uh, the number uh, and it's a made in Italy product so it came with this and you know it was uh, verified by the Vesia Collective team um, this is the version with the leather strap so you will see this beautiful uh, this one is in gold it's a buckle but you can also see that some bags have it in uh, silver. I don't know whether it's ruthenium or it's, uh, you know, silver color. But definitely it comes in two types of hardware. Um, I find this one matches very nicely with the cream color. This is not a white. Um, it's like a cream color, I would say. So the gold color complements very nicely. I have it in the last, um, how you say this? Um, I don't know how you call this in English, but you know what I mean? It's the last uh, part of the leather strap because I like it pretty low. And here you can see it says Vortega, Vortega Veneta. It's a beautiful bag. You see this, the shine of the leather. It's very puffy. This is the bag. So it has very little har hardware. It only has the buckle. You have to be careful because this buckle is heavy and it can easily hit you, the leather of your bag. So this is a point that you need to be careful because if you let the strap, um, you know, move around, uh, it can damage your leather. So be careful with that. Uh, the point that I enjoy the most about this bag is I didn't expect it to be so light. It is very light. I like how minimalistic um, it looks. I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of this minimalistic style just because the, the, the color is so plain and the design is so plain but also so different from any other bag in my collection. I expect from time uh, the leather will dip off. Uh, I would say that that would be normal. But if you stuff the bag and you store it in a nice way, I think it will last for a long time. So you see it's well padded everywhere. It's very nice and it's very, very light. So that's something nice. The thing I don't like about this bag, you will see uh, this this part of the leather looks a little bit different and I see with time it's going to look flatter. The reason being is because 
To open the bag, you need to pull it down and then up. So if you have seen my review about uh, Celine, uh, it's the belt bag in the size, uh, I believe it's the medium one, micro. It has exactly the same, uh, the same uh, opening. So you have to fit this round hardware here. So you have to pull it down and then up. So like this and then fit it inside. So it means that when you have to open the back, you need to pull down and put some pressure on here. Uh, so this will mean that I'm going to be putting pressure on this part of the leather. So this is going to become flatter. And that's something that I wish they would have used uh, a regular magnet. And then I could do exactly the same as I do with my Yves Saint Laurent Lulu Puffer. I just press with my fingers and then the magnet goes up. And this way I need to press. You see here, I'm going to make um, like, a, um, how can I say? It's just added pressure on the puff in order to open it and close it. You see the Bottega Veneta here. So in terms of logo, it's very nice uh, because it is very understated and that's the reason why I love it. So it's simple, but different in, in some way. But yeah, the opening is the part that I, I dislike the most. The inside you will see here, it's not super spacious. And the reason being is because from the outside dimensions, you lose around three centimeters uh, because of the puffiness of the, of the leather. So that's the reason why the interior is not uh, so spacious. You have um, like a pocket that can be, uh, I believe it can be detached. Or not, it cannot be detached actually, but look at this, you can still use this part. So it's a little bit strange that it's not, it's not detached, but you know, that's a little bit strange. You can see here interior. This is the buckle. The inside part of the buckle and it has a very nice uh, logo. So I thought this one I could take out, but I cannot. Anyway, uh, this is just a pouch. So it's just an internal pocket and you can see the interior is not super spacious. Let me show you what uh, you could fit. You could fit your uh, key ring. Uh, this is my Chanel one. You could fit uh, your wallet. I use my Hermes Calvi one. This is for your cards because I don't need to use uh, coins. Then I would use my uh, external battery. My AirPods some tissue and I would say, I don't know whether this is my glasses, my sunglasses. I don't know whether this will fit, but we're gonna see it if it fits. So yeah, this is what it can fit. So because it's so puffy, you know, you can see how it looks. It's going to be farther away from your body, but it does not look bad. I don't know. I really love this bag. Um, it's very, it's trendy. It's trendy in the sense that it's simple and minimalistic. It has no logo, which is something I love. It doesn't have a lot of hardware uh, in this version. So I think that it's going to age well. Uh, and the reason why I bought it at this moment is because usually when I like this bag very much at the beginning, but I see it everywhere. So I get a little bit tired of seeing it everywhere. And I just decide to wait a little bit. And once I see that most of the influencers are not taking it out as much, if I still like the bag, I will purchase it and I will try to go pre-loved for this kind of brands. 
and that's the reason why I could got, I could get a very nice offer also because of the color because I can see how many people would be afraid of this color um, but you know I'm always wearing neutrals and I don't wear any fabric that it's you know very problematic with color transfer um, I'm always wearing old jeans so but yeah definitely it's something that you have to consider if you are nervous about the color transfer getting such a light color back of course is you know is something to consider you have to be careful um this the same bag comes in a different version with a chunky chain i believe it has a top handle and then um uh, a strap um everything is in chain um but i see that one how can I say? I think it will age very fast. It's the chain is too chunky, and but it looks very comfortable as well. Like I wish this could come with, with a strap on the top, and you know then you could hold it uh, on your hand. That would be awesome. But as crossbody bag or on your shoulder, it works very nicely. It's just an old leather bag. It's beautiful, understated logo free no one will know this is a Bottega Veneta bag so it's very nicely I find that it transitions very well from day to night so if you're in work and you can wear this bag if you have a um, a night date um, I would say it, it's it's a nice bag to carry with you it's also very light so it will not bother you if you want to go shopping with it um, I take it to work because I work in a very casual environment and definitely it's a bag I will carry around and I think it's gonna be in my collection for many years to come because I like how simple it is but how different it is to anything I have in my collection I just like how puffy it is I like the color um, I don't know I just think it's a beautiful bag um, and I highly highly suggest you to go to the pre-love market if you're interested be a little bit patient I find this version comes very nice in light color for some reason I'm not a fan of the black uh, version of this because I think it's too shiny uh, but they, they have a very nice caramel color uh, it's also nice in in a white one the white one comes in silver hardware and then I love the light blue it, it comes in a baby blue and actually I wanted this color which is a cream color or uh, the light blue and you know this one um, I believe I paid was it a little bit less than 1400 uh, euro so I believe it retails around 2200 so it was a good deal and yeah that's the reason why I would go pre-loved to buy this kind of bag again very nice very nicely made um, very light it goes it pairs well with um, any any color in my in my outfits because it's you know very minimalistic no logo and as a con I would say the uh, I wish they would have used a magnet if you wish to walk around with it uh, without closing it it's also a possibility but I have to warn you that this is gonna start making a sound when you walk and it's gonna drive you a little bit crazy so I've done that as well because I don't want to be closing it all the time um, so that's a that's a possibility if this you know if you're fine with that um, especially if it's not uh, if it's kind of empty then when you walk it's gonna be doing this kind of noise and I hate it so when I get tired I just you know I just close it you get used to uh, the method uh, because it is a little bit different 
but again, you will have to be very mindful about how you, pr you press. Also, you have to be mindful to have clean hands because it's a light color bag. So those would be my cons. Um, also, again, be very careful with this uh, buckle because it can damage your leather. It's very pretty, but you know, it's easy to scratch. So far, I am carrying this bag. Um, I don't know, very comfortably. I'm not being all the time like, oh, I cannot touch it or, you know, I'm pretty laid back, but I do baby my bags. And I always make sure I have clean hands before touching it, just because I want it to last for many years in my collection. So yeah, that's it. And I am waiting uh, because I want to buy one of those fluffies. There is this Instagram uh, seller. I believe she's a specialist um, for Diana vintage bags. I love her page in Instagram. I will link it below. And she sells some fluffies uh, for storage of the classic flaps. So I'm going to buy that for storage to keep it you know nicely and to store it uh properly that's what i'm gonna do um but yeah you could also buy like an organizer uh but definitely it's gonna affect uh the room because the more organizer you put you're gonna have less space but yeah that could be possible if you if you are too afraid of the color transfer when I bought this bag, I told myself I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to, I'm not going to be crazy about um, the way I act around this bag. I just want to enjoy it and, you know, life is short. You just need to make a decision before, before you buy it. You have to be very careful and say, okay, uh, some bags, for some reason, I like in certain colors like this one i told you before i prefer it in light colors there is no science behind it it's just that the way it looks uh in my opinion uh it's very it's nicer in light colors it's it's 100 uh personal preference um so uh what i'm trying to say is i i made a decision when i wanted to buy this bag and i said okay i want it in a light color light blue or this cream color if i'm if i'm buying it i'm gonna buy it pre-loved because if it has some mark or something um you know i don't feel bad already to be the first one to do some damage on it when i receive it it was in mint condition and i was like okay so i'm gonna be the one to <laughs> do the first scratch uh, obviously um but I made a choice with myself and I said, okay, if I'm going to splurge in this bag, I want to be able to enjoy it no matter what. If you are not this kind of person who cannot make this that kind of choice, I would say you skip it or uh, go for a dark color. Um, but because I have so many black bags, uh, I'm more into neutrals and I, I'm really enjoying light color like... I really love uh, creams and um, light gray is my favorite color. I really like also light blue, uh, pink. So yeah, I didn't have a cream color. I have some nudes, but I didn't have any back in this color and I'm really enjoying it. And like I said, it's super light, it's very comfy. It makes me happy and i i wore it for one week last week without changing and i didn't do any rotation and this week i'm gonna still uh, wear it because i love it i'm only gonna change it for another one if it rains because i want to be mindful of rain but otherwise i'm just gonna keep rocking this back because i love it so much and I hope this uh, video was useful to anyone who is interested in this bag and if you have any other comments um, just uh, write me below I try to reply to anybody who has some doubts or would like to see other types of videos um, if there's any bag that you're thinking about but you have some doubts or you would like to see some comparison 
I can always uh, film a video uh, for you guys. So yeah, this is my latest um, purchase and I'm loving it and I hope this was useful and I hope to see you again very soon. Back. Bye. It's very light, very comfortable. If you like it, go for it. If you think it's horrible, I also understand it. It may not be for you for sure. Um, but then, you know, it's nice. It's a nice bag, I have to say. So anyway, I hope you have a good day, a good week a good month or a good end of the year because we all need that right and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye you tired you tired <laughs>